That's right, it's Dead Space 2, the first big release of the year, and it's just as good as its predecessor. Set three years after the first Dead Space, Isaac Clarke is back, and with a voice. Isaac wakes up in the middle of the necromorph-infected sprawl, and like any normal guy, he sets out to destroy the necromorphs, and hopefully fix his own head. You see, after his first encounter with the necromorphs, the marker infected his head, and he's starting to lose grip on reality, which is actually a bit more interesting than the whole government conspiracy thing, but overall, the story is good, and once you get into it, you'll definitely want to see how it ends. Isaac! Isaac! You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. The gameplay is very similar to the first Dead Space. It's a survival horror game, so for a majority of the game you'll have low ammo, and the first half of the game is pretty scary. Although, the second half of the game starts to have a faster pace, and while it's not as scary, it's still just as fun. For those of you who haven't played the first Dead Space, what makes the gameplay unique is having to shoot off the limbs of your enemies rather than straight up shooting them, which makes it a bit more challenging. There are also zero gravity areas where you fly around fixing the station to help you get to your next destination. And those are always fun, except for the enemy you have to fight in the zero gravity areas is a pain in the ass. So the gameplay of Dead Space 2 is very similar to Dead Space, but the new story and the new areas make it fun and exciting. And scary. Don't forget scared. But the first time through the single player is definitely extremely good. Unfortunately though, some of you won't find much replayability due to the linear gameplay. What might get you to replay it is the ability to upgrade your guns and armor, but that may just cause you to do a speed run through the game a second time. And the loading screens are extremely well hidden. With the exception of dying, there were no loading screens in the single player. But the Xbox 360 version also has two discs, but it's really no big deal. Like most games, Dead Space 2 has added multiplayer, and while a lot of people haven't said great things about it, I actually thought the Dead Space 2 multiplayer was the funnest multiplayer I've played in a while. It plays similar to Left 4 Dead. It's 4 on 4, survivors vs. infected, but the games are much shorter, which is enjoyable. Basically, it's objective-based attack and defend games, except with space guys and necromorphs, which is fun. What's great about it is that you actually feel like you're playing with people, unlike, for example, Call of Duty, which is every man for himself. If you want to win, teamwork is key. So if you really want to enjoy the multiplayer, you should put on your mic or play with some friends, and then you'll definitely have a great time. Of course, sometimes the multiplayer may seem a little lopsided and unbalanced, but it really just depends on teamwork. Now my biggest complaint about the multiplayer is more about EA being assholes about their money. To play the multiplayer you have to buy Dead Space 2 new so you get the online pass. Otherwise you have to pay $10, which just kinda sucks. But overall Dead Space 2 is a solid game worth playing, especially if you like the first Dead Space. If you didn't like the first Dead Space, then you obviously won't like this one. And if you've never played Dead Space, then pick up Dead Space 2, you'll most likely enjoy it.